solid enough. Welcome back to another episode of Pilgrim's Garage. What we're going to do today is we are going to replace the drive belt on an LT1050 Cub Cadet. This particular model is a 2007. I did a video on a 2012. Uh, it's similar but a little different. Figure we might as well do a really good video on this one. So now as you just saw, I lifted this up with a tractor, got it up underneath here so I can actually do a lot of work up underneath here and have a lot of room and be able to show and explain everything to you. Uh, if you don't have this ability, it's fine. What you can do, you can use a jack. You can jack up underneath here. You can jack up underneath your base. Uh, you can also use a chain fall. If you've got a tree, you can hang it from there. Just make sure that when you're underneath it, it's pretty solid because it's pretty heavy. So as you can see, this is your clutch assembly. We already have the deck off of this. It was off when I got it. We're going to remove this hub assembly first. Let's pull that off of there. So now when removing this, it's easiest if you've got an impact. Because if you start trying to spin this with a breaker bar, what's going to happen is you're going to end up turning the engine over. So an impact or some way of stopping this from spinning is the best option that you're going to have. I find an impact's the best. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the clutch assembly. Now it does have an electric line in there, so you can unplug it and move it completely out of the way. I'm just going to let it dangle nice and easily. There are washers on the top of this. There's only one washer on top of that. I do not feel another one. Next thing we got to do is, actually, I don't think I got to do any of that. Somebody's bent these tabs out. This pulley should pull right off of here, but this is on there, and it looks like somebody has actually bent those out, those tabs out. Uh, if yours are similar to this, what I would recommend is this pulley will come off of here. If you were to clean this up, maybe tap this, it should come right out of there. exactly what he did. What we got here is that pulley is not going to come off. Not without pulling the motor out and we're not going to do that. Problem is, if you look inside of that that has been hit by a hammer or something obviously somebody was trying to pull this off before you can see that that is pretty bad that is going to prematurely kill any drive belt so what i have made here is i just took the initial bolt for the clutch put some washers and a socket on here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn the engine over slowly and i'm going to clean that up with a wire wheel so this is what i've got here for the wire wheel and I'm just going to clean up all of that into there I will show you what I'm doing here in a second definitely cleaner so I'm just gonna clean that whole pulley all up So that pulley is clean, but as you can see, this is obviously why it threw a drive belt after the first time uh, that they used it. This pulley needs to be replaced. I don't have a puller for it, so I am just going to try to get these back in until I can get another pulley. At least he might be able to get the rest of the season out of it. 
But somebody obviously put a puller on it and uh, couldn't get it off of there and decided that they would just throw another drive belt onto it. So I'm gonna try and pound that flat, get it open a little bit. All right, after quite a bit of monkeying around, we got that pulley pretty well cleaned up. She's a little beat up, but we're gonna have to get that pulley replaced, but we're gonna see if we can get the rest of the season out. All right, so now we're gonna replace the drive belt. It's very, very easy to do. Okay, the drive belt for this particular 2007 1050 LT, or LT 1050, is an MTD 754-0461. This one is according to the Cub Cadet dealership in Wisconsin. So simple enough, we're just going to go to the side, we're going to run that belt through. Next thing we want to do is pull this spring off. You can use a needle nose, you can use a pliers, you can use anything that you want. Once you've removed that spring, you can go ahead and run the belt around that rear axle on that pulley. Here you can start fishing your lines through here. And it should have plenty of tension with that spring disconnected. Goes around that, under that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it on to the engine. Now, once again, this pulley is a little damaged, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spin the engine over, putting that in because they have got these tabs. They are just bent out and they shouldn't be, and this pulley's not coming off. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to hook this spring back up to here. Get in there, you dirty devil. Good enough. And there we go. Next thing we do, we can take our clutch assembly and put it back in. Remembering how many washers that you needed. This one, this particular one needed one washer. Here's a key way, it'll find the key.